So here's a video to help the online students figure out how to get Flash Player to work properly. And this is using Google Chrome, which is the browser I found it's easiest to get everything working properly. And we're going to start with what you would run into in the lab on minerals. So the first time you're going to run into this is when we get to the density lab. And when you get to that density part of the lab, and it takes you to this PHET website, you're probably going to see something that looks like this. Now what I want you to do is go ahead and attempt to view the simulation anyway. And it's going to tell you that Adobe Flash Player is blocked. The way we enable this in Google Chrome is you come up to the little icon next to the address and that says view site information and when you click on that it opens up your site settings. When you click on site settings it's going to open up a new browser tab and there's a lot of different things on here and one of the items down on your list should be flash. And right next to where it says flash you're going to select allow. Now when you do that and we come back over here notice that it says reload but it's already actually reloaded it. It's okay to click the reload just to make sure we clear all that out and it's going to open up your flash properly. And then you're going to be able to go into the mystery settings and follow the instructions that are in the lab. Now if you come back to this site sometime later you might notice that flash has been changed back to block and once again you've got the same situation. In this case all you have to do is come up here and click on allow and it will automatically go through so you don't have to go to the separate tab for the site settings. Now we're going to go ahead and also take a look here real quick at the virtual mineral simulation and the same sort of thing is going to happen where Adobe Flash Player is blocked and again you'll come up to the icon next to the address. In this case it's not secure but it's still the site information and you'll go to site settings and under flash you'll again select allow and then when you go back to the rocks and minerals you'll see that you're able to actually go in and begin the lab. So that's how you're going to allow Flash Player for these two separate websites that use Flash that we're using in our lab on minerals.